This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're having a really good day. In this video, I explore vaquero boots, hats, and saddles. The precursor of the American cowboy was, of course, the Mexican vaquero, and before that was the Spanish, you know, vaquero, and of course, the Moorish influence is uh, quite important also. So here's a shop in uh, Chihuahua, Chihuahua. I was there last week, enjoying myself. I had a fantastic time. Sold a lot of boots down there. And they did a lot of saddle work, and they sell a lot of cowboy hats, or vaquero hats. There's a guy getting his uh, shoe shine rather pointy shoes. That's a certain style that's very popular right now in the Chihuahua Chihuahua. This guy was super, super proud of his shoes and they cost him a pretty penny. Yes, he said 90% of the folks down there have these kinds of boots and it's very popular down there. So here's one shop I went to, Arena Boots. Here they are working on a saddle. And they also, of course, make custom boots for Americans and Texans and whoever wants to come down there and buy them. And they sell them for a good, fair price. Uh, I saw some boots that would typically sell for like 300 bucks. In the United States, they were selling there for 75 bucks. And these are all leather boots. Custom boots. You can actually ask, tell them you want ostrich, uh, you want them made out of steer, or uh, some other material, lizards, you know, snake. All kinds of endangered species, they'll be more happy to <laughs> use their leather for the boots, apparently. And this is a guy making uh, the heel of a boot. He's also joking around with his friends in a few seconds here. Uh, <laughs> I guess he got tired of me photographing. Why don't you photograph this guy over here? So he's, here he is uh, working on the boot again. A tight shot. He made a mistake there, so he has to pull it out. This is all custom work. And uh, of course, sometimes uh, things don't go as well as flat. But he fixed it. He's doing a great, great job making that all leather heel. A stacked leather heel. This isn't paper or some sort of cardboard. This is all leather. These are high quality components. And of course, I'm shooting him. Of course, they're all making fun of him because he dropped his tool. <laughs> it's uh, sort of like a hammer slash pliers that he uses. And he's been doing this for uh, after my conversation for you know over you know a couple decades now. Uh, they're making fun of him right now. Of course, uh, fun little shop. I really enjoyed my time in Chihuahua. People were absolutely fabulous. Fabulous people out there. They weren't uh, overtly crazy, like in, I was last year, I was in Cancun. People down there were always yelling at me, screaming at me, calling me names, calling me Santa Claus. And people down there didn't even say anything to me. They just were quiet, they went around the business and, you know, shopping, enjoying their lives. Because this is not a touristy city. People come down there to get boots, get hats, get saddle work. There's mines out there, there's one of the largest silver mines is just down the road. Of course, you heard there that uh, this machine right here that is selling the boots. And of course, you did it perfectly, so I'm going to show you so you look at this. My boots came out <laughs> perfect. And he's very, very proud of his work. People should be proud of their work, you know? You know, if you're proud of your work, you're going to do a good job. You're not going to, you know, you want people to know that, you know, I made this, I am proud of it, and I stand behind it. Right next door was El Presidente. They make hats, custom hats. The people in there, again, were very, very kind to me and very generous with their, showing me around the facility and let me go in back where they, you know, they steam the hats, where they form the hats, where they make the hats. So they sell all kinds of brands, but they also make, again, custom wool hats. An incredible, you know, facility they have. And, uh, I'm going to go inside in just a few seconds. Yeah, this 
the guy that's uh, steaming the hats to shape. He makes sure he, you know, he has a good eye here. He's been doing this for quite a while. He's not having to do like uh, five hats a, you know, a minute. He, he can make this hat. He can spend some good time with it because, you know, he's a craftsman. He, he's proud of his product. If you want a nice Stetson style hat, a nice wool hat, you know, you know, something you can show off at the dance or at the event or at work. This, this is the place to go. You get some really fine custom work here. Look at it, he's showing off right there. Yes, he is very, very proud of his work. He's handed it to the customer. I'm pretty sure the customer is going to feel very proud to wear that custom sombrero. That's custom cowboy hat. And again, the cowboy culture of uh, Chihuahua is very similar to the cowboy culture in Texas. Not very different. Uh, so if you went to a lot of ranches in Texas, you'd find Mexicans working down there, by the way. And uh, it's, there is a reason for that. So I'm now just a you know, couple doors from my hotel and I'm checking out this place called Casa Garvia. They make saddles. They make custom saddles. They make belts. They make all kinds of leather goods. So if you're interested in saving a few bucks and having a good time in the community of Chihuahua Chihuahua, you can, you know, again, purchase some affordable products down there that are custom and in leather. They're not made of cardboard. They're not made out of some fake plastic. They're, they're made out of leather, real leather, and people make this product. They're making one at a time, not one, you know, four, five, six, seven, ten, you know, every half hour. They're making them, you know, takes them a while, and they do a great job. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I need more subscribers. In fact, I'm, I'm at 1,000 now. My goal in 2019 is to go up to 2,000. Dare to dream. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.